Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have Brianna back again. Hello, guys. Um, she wants to go through some of her skincare regimen with you guys and show you guys some of the cool products that she used that can really help you improve the quality and the clarity of your skin. With a couple pro tips. That's right. So stick with us. Uh, coming right back, we're going to show you some tips. It's Brianna here, handle below. Um, today we're gonna go into my skincare regimen and what I do when my skin looks dull, when it's not, not as bright as it should be, if I get a breakout, and just the products that really, I'm super simplistic with the products that I use to just keep my face super fresh, especially when I'm shooting a lot, it can kinda wear all of your skin down, so. I'm super, super huge on removing makeup. So every night I use this guy. It is chlorine. You think I'm saying that right? And it's just, it removes everything. You, I love this one because you have to shake it and clearly I use it a ton, but you just have to shake it to mix it all up and then use a cotton pad and just wipe until it's completely gone. People, men, women, they never remove their makeup properly clogs your pores, it just dampens your skin, it doesn't. Take, please, please, please take off your makeup. That's the number one most important because it's, that's where it starts. If you don't have clean skin, none of this is gonna matter. So just make sure your skin's really clean. So after removing makeup, I don't have my cleanser with me today, but it's just the SK2 foam cleanser. It's amazing, I love it. It gets nice and sudsy when you're washing your face to kind of really get in on my skin when I just feel like it's a little grungy or it's got some residue of makeup that's just not getting out of my pores. I also, if my skin's just feeling a little like T-zones gross and I need to really get in there, the only exfoliant I use is baking soda. You can mix it with your face wash, your body wash, it doesn't matter, your hand soap, like whatever you want exfoliated, just use baking soda. There's no reason to spend tons of money on some weird, baking soda, I'm telling you. Mix it in with your cleanser and then just circular motion, get in there. I'm a little rough with my skin just because I do not like feeling like there's any gunk on my face. Like I like a really clean face. So I just pull my hair back and get all in the face areas. Uh, after cleansing, I don't have the full size of my travel with me today, but it's the SK2 Facial Treatment Clear Lotion which is godsend. It just makes your skin feel really supple and tight and circulates your pores, evens out your skin tone a bit. Uh, I love SK2, they're one of my favorite brands because it just feels good on your skin. So this, again, just cotton pad, and it's just like a toner. You just rub it in normally. Or again, upwards, circular motions. We're trying to keep all of this useful. So then, it's gonna seem like a lot of stuff. Then I usually pick if I get a spot, which I know you're not supposed to pick, don't pick. But if you do, just make sure you cleanse. I think the whole stigma around don't pick, it's gonna spread and you're gonna break up more, is people don't cleanse what they pick properly or they go in on what they wanna pick with dirty hands and then that's what ends up spreading everything. So if you are gonna pick, Use a tissue, and then after you're done picking, use an alcohol wipe. I carry these with me in my purse, in my gym bag, in my makeup bag, like all the time, because it's, if you pick, if you're one of those pickers like I am and you can't not do it, just cleanse. Alcohol wipe, take it to it, take a second one to it, let it just air out for a minute. Um, but if you pick, you're gonna get brown spots like I have right now, actually. Um, so my saving grace for those is scar removing Mederma. It's literally the best thing ever. It says to use it twice a day for like six to eight weeks, but this stuff is a godsend. If you start using it while the actual spot's healing up, it 
will be gone in two weeks. Like it's one of those things that's just amazing. So I'll use it in the morning and then I'll use it at night or I'll use it after my workout and then at night. So two times a day, this will, any spots, texture, scars from acne, brown spots, saving grace. I'll apply the Mederma and then I'll use SK's RNA Power, which is a radical new age essence. So essentially it's just a serum, but it's for aging skin. And when I was 15, my agent at the time gave me a huge pro tip and was like, do you like how young you look now? And I was like, yes, I love my skin, it's beautiful. And she was like, if you wanna preserve what you have now, you need to start anti-aging now. So I've been anti-aging since I was about, religiously, since I was about 17. I got told at 15, but didn't kick in for a few years. And it works, like the stuff that your mom uses, take it. The stuff your grandma uses, take it, like it works. There's a lot of brightening and lightening stuff for younger skin, but if you use the stuff that is going to stop aging or be anti-aging, like do it when you're young, you won't need to get all that stuff pumped into your face to look pretty. And then I've got another, and this is not an ad for SK2, I swear, I just love their products. Uh, again, I left my full size at home, so this is their travel size that I keep in my gym bag. It's the SK2. Deep Surge Circulation, saying that oddly, but it is one of the best moisturizers. Like it literally just makes your skin feel like you're throwing ounces and ounces of water at it. it it's not that pricey. All of their stuff is a little on the higher end, but I'm a firm believer what you put in is what you're gonna get out. So I highly recommend, even if you just go in and get a few samples and then get addicted to it, they have them in Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom, and they're a godsend. Best moisturizer on market, hands down. So then that's what I do before night, and then once a week, every week and a half, I'll use a retinol. I use this RO Retinol Solutions Intensive Brightening Treatment. So retinol is going to be one of those anti-aging things that is kind of super harsh. And that's why I only use it once a week or like once and a half because it can make you kind of peel like a lizard and that's not cute for anyone. So I just apply all of the products that I just told you and then this guy on top because it's so strong, it penetrates all of that and still makes your skin, all those fine lines, they diminish in such a crazy way. And this is just, a 0.5% pure retinol night. The only thing with retinol, if you use it, even if you use it once, you have to, have to, have to use my best friend, sunscreen. The way that it will just open your skin up, all of the little highlighting parts of your face that the sun will just hit when you're getting out of your car and just going inside, like that's enough to give you age spots. So retinol can be your best friend, if you use sunscreen. I love the sun bum because it's just sprayable and you can do everything. I never leave the house without spraying my face, my chest, my arms, my hands, and my neck if my hair is up because those are things you're reaching in the sun and the sun's beautiful, but she's very, very aging. So sunscreen, sunscreen, sun, sunscreen. Throughout the day, the Mario Bad Baducci, I always, I pronounce names so wrong, I'm sorry. But I love the aloe cucumber green tea because it just gives your skin that like extra hydration through the day. And it's just really easy, like spray, spray, like feels like that's enough, hydrates. It's great, your skin will love you for it. And then it, especially when it's just a stiff, stuffy day outside, it's really good. And if you're in a really warm place like LA, your skin's gonna need it because it's always really dry here. Before I apply, I apply my makeup, bio oil, it's my favorite oil. I use it all over my body as a moisturizer and if I'm applying makeup, I always do just a simple swipe down my nose, my eyes, under my eyes, and like, just like my T-zone really, forehead and chin, and then I just kind of blend it in or I'll just take my concealer stick over it because I like solid concealer sticks. So I'm not big on like a full foundation. Um, but it just kind of warms up the makeup in a more natural way and it helps it kind of sink into your skin instead of looking like you applied like layers and layers. I'm not into the cake 
face makeup thing. It's not, it's not my cup of tea. So bio oil, like swear by it. You can, it's, I first got put onto it when I was living in London. One of my roommates, she was just like rubbing it all over herself. It's great for scars, stretch marks, um, bruises. It's one of the best things. Love it, love it. That's kind of it for skin. It's more so what I use at shoots and just days when I want to look a little, if I look a little extra tired, I swear by these eye drops. They're Opacon A, but I found them years ago through one of my girlfriend's boyfriends at the time. And it was, he's like tested them all. And this is the only one that I have found that completely gets rid of those tired red eyes, the just not bright. And people like Visine and all of that, they're this guy, I'm telling you. Um, other than that, I just like to, when I apply all of my products and I get everything on my face, I just kind of massage them in and it's more so feeling all the stuff in your face. And if there's a part that you hit, like for me, I clench my teeth a lot when I sleep. So I usually massage through my jawline when I'm doing my product placement and application. And then just like through your temples, your sinuses, like all of this, that's all sinuses. So that's a huge one to just keep your face feeling slim and to keep your cheekbones. I've got really high cheekbones, so if my face is puffy, it looks really puffy. So I just massage all of that into my skin and it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, last pro tip, don't, I'm touching my face like crazy, but don't touch your face. People don't understand how much germs and just yuck are on your hands every day. And don't let people touch your face. Wash your hands very often. I'm a crazy person and wash my hands like once every hour at least just because I know if I get an itch or something and I touch my face, all of that bacteria and stuff that I touched prior is gonna end up on my face. So just don't keep your hands away from your face. I know it's gonna be hard at first, but just make it a conscious thing. Change your wallpaper to don't touch your face. And every time you look at your phone, you're like, oh, I'm touching my face now, I'm gonna stop. And you'll notice an, a humongous, humongous difference, so. That's pretty much it guys. Try some. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below, send a message, and I'll answer any of your questions.